Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jody here with just another quick tip. Now today what we're going to concentrate on is how to optimize your Macintosh for media manipulation. Now this could be video editing, this could be photo editing, or even creating a website with Flash. Basically something that's CPU intensive. So we're going to kind of figure out some ways to optimize your Mac system. Now these are all personal preferences that I've used and I've experienced with, but I've noticed some performance boost in my Macintosh. So let's get started. Now first of all, just a little disclaimer. If you're running on a MacBook Pro or a MacBook and you want to adjust these settings as well, just keep in mind that these settings might drain your battery. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. But obviously, you're probably going to be hooked up to a power adapter if you're watching this video because you want to optimize your Mac system. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the Apple icon in your menu bar. Click on it, you'll get a shortcut menu, and go down to System Preferences. Now click on it once, and you're going to see a bunch of different icons. The icon that we're going to stress on today is the Energy Saver icon, so make sure to click on it. Now once you click on it, you're going to see all of these options. Now all of these options seem very generic, but they do have that extra meaning behind them. So let's explain. Now this first option on top here says Automatic Graphic Switching. Your computer will automatically switch between graphic modes for better battery life. Now what does this mean? Basically, in the newer MacBook Pros and the iMacs 2011, there have been integrated graphics with the motherboard. So basically, you have integrated Intel graphics as well as a dedicated graphics cards. And in this year, 2011, we have the ATI cards. So whenever we're not doing something intensive, maybe like editing or photo editing or whatever, then the computer is going to refer to the integrated graphics. And once you have something intensive to do, it's going to refer back to the dedicated graphics card. Now, how does that affect performance? So let's say you're doing an After Effects composition or maybe you're editing and you know you want to get that speediness right away. If you uncheck this option, your computer will just refer to the dedicated graphics card. So if you want basically just a fresh start from the beginning, make sure to uncheck this option. So I'm just going to uncheck this option here and leave it at that. Now it says here, when automatic switching is disabled, your computer will always use high performance graphics. This may decrease battery life. So basically, I'm running on a power adapter, so I don't really mind. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, now if we go down here, we're going to see these two options, computer sleep and display sleep. That is your preference whatsoever. I just kept it at never for computer sleep and display sleep. I kept it at 39 minutes. Again, whatever you want. Now, this next option is very important. And it says, put the hard disk to sleep when possible. Now, let's say, uh, let me give you guys two scenes. The first scene is you just going to YouTube and watching some videos, maybe watching this video. So, you have a MacBook. You're going on YouTube, and then you close your MacBook. Or you just leave your MacBook open, and you go, let's say, to someone's knocking at the door, and you go answer, then you come back, and then you try to restart, well, you know, you try to wake up your MacBook Pro from sleep, because you kind of left for a long time. So basically, your MacBook Pro is going to just lag a little bit, because it's trying to wake the hard drive up, unless you're running on a solid state drive. And this also relates to the second scene, which is an external hard drive. Let's say you want to drink a glass of water while you're editing or talking to someone. And you go and get a glass of water. And you come back and let's say you left for 30 minutes because that was a long corridor you had to walk. So you come back and then you sit down and you want to immediately start editing. Why? Because along the corridor when you were coming, you saw a picture of, I don't know, Willy Wonka or something. And then you got inspired to do something that moment so before the idea goes away you just want to start editing but you can't because your macbook pro has to wake up or maybe your imax or mac pro's uh hard disk drive and also your external hard drive has to wake up as well so basically you're have you're gonna have to wait for the different rates of these devices and then they wake up and once they wake up then you could start now if that doesn't seem so bad you know 
it's actually really generic it's not it's common but if you're doing something let's say like Photoshop and you know you're going back and forth between tabs and stuff sometimes when you leave Photoshop inactive and you're not using your hard disk drive and you go back you're gonna have to wait until the hard drive opens up then you can start again so it gets annoying so what I would recommend you to do is uncheck this option and once you uncheck that option as you can hear I don't know if you heard that but my hard drive just woke up and it's going to wake up and it's gonna stay waked up <laughs> that's not even a word but it's gonna stay wo woken up for a long time until I put my computer to sleep or maybe shut it down okay great now the next thing that we're gonna do will not involve the system preferences window whatsoever now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to download one program that I've covered already in one of my videos and use it so let's just close this window now what I want you to do is I want you to go to your favorite browser whether it be Google Chrome Firefox or Safari or actually not Internet Explorer anyway what I want you to do is I want you to download the following program and it's free freeware so you have the rights to download it and you have the rights to use it for free and it's called SMC fan control now what that does is basically just cr it lets you manipulate the speed of your fans of your Macintosh uh, for it to run you know faster or or slower depending on your Mac so let's go ahead and download that program and uh, great now let's uh, open the program since I have it installed on my computer. Now once you open it, notice how nothing happened. Something did happen and the program is not actually an application that you see with your eyes. It's actually a menu bar option. So if you look on top of the menu bar, you're going to notice that we have this new option. And it says 149 Fahrenheit and 3,236 revolutions per minute so basically it's telling you the temperature of your computer overall and also the speed of your fans so if you want to change that what I recommend you do is go to the menu option click on it go to preferences then go to favorite and select the higher RPM now once you do that your fans once you click save will crank up to 6200 revolutions per minute now this will crank up your fans and this will kind of sound loud but if you're doing something like let's say editing you're obviously gonna have to have some headphones so you probably won't mind it now click on save and you should immediately hear my fans running now you know this all depends on preferences but if you want to run smoother if you want something to basically just uh, wake up really quickly or maybe you want to do that edit quicker than you know half a second then I would recommend you do all of these settings here these were only three t tweaks but these three tweaks might get you out of a hurry out of a you know distress so these were just some tips that I wanted to give you some suggestions should you choose to follow them go ahead I've noticed some performance while I edit and uh, you know overall it's a it's a great it's a great flow I guess of settings to tweak so thanks a lot for watching this quick tip and I'll see you again with another video thanks a lot for watching and make sure to watch my past two videos I'm working right now in a series and I'm working really hard on it to bring it out. Thanks a lot and have a great, great day.